Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. What's your name? My name is Pooja. Okay, Pujita. Can I have your resume, please? Okay, Pujita. Can I know about yourself? Yes, ma'am. Hi, ma'am. Good yes. morning. Thank you for giving me this wonderful opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Pujita. I am from Kalinar district, but currently staying in Hyderabad. I did my graduation in the year 2022 in BSc Computers with a score of 80 percentage from Kakatiya University. According to my strengths, I am a self-motivated and hardworking and uh, I have strong communication skills also. Uh, my goal is to get a good job in a reputed company where I can build my career and help the organization too. Uh, coming to my technical skills, uh, I have knowledge on Core Java and testing. Uh, my hobbies are reading books and uh, listening music. And finally, I am a quick learner, believing in learning from past mistakes, from my past mistakes and experience. That's all about me. Yeah, okay. Yes, Core Java is completed. Yes, ma'am. Yes. From Core Java, I will ask you a few questions. You need to answer those questions, okay? okay. Yes. Okay. What is an array? An array is a data structure which is used to store, which is used to store fixed data and similar kind of data. Okay. How many types of arrays are there? Two types of arrays. Yes. What are those? One is static and another one is dynamic. Okay. Please explain the static array. Yes. If we create an array with the size, then it is static array. What about dynamic array? If we create an array without giving the size, then it is dynamic array. Yes. Um, in dynamic array, which kind of data we are providing? Similar kind of data, but there is no limit in dynamic array. Yeah, okay, fine. Now, okay, what is command line argument? Command line argument is an argument that we can pass the values at runtime of the Java program. Okay. Fine. Okay. What is typecasting? Uh, typecasting is the process of uh, conversion uh, one data type to another type. Okay. okay. How many types of typecasting are there? Two types. Yes. What are those? Implicit and explicit. Okay. Explain implicit typecasting. Uh, yes. Uh, implicit means uh, data type should be compatible and uh, destination data type should be larger than the source data type. Okay, fine. What is explicit, uh, explicit typecasting? Uh, explicit typecasting means uh, this can be done manually and it can be done for data types of different sizes. Okay, means destination data type? Should be longer than source data type or smaller than? Uh, destination data type is uh, smaller than the source data type. Okay. That is implicit or explicit? Uh, that is explicit. Fine. Good. Yes. Tell me, what kind of application we can develop with Java? With Java, we can develop uh, web applications, uh, desktop applications, enterprise applications. Fine. Okay. Is Java 100% object oriented programming language? No. Why? Uh, because we can develop the pro, uh, Java programs uh, for primitive data types without using object Yes. Why Java is called a platform independent language? Uh, because we can run the programs anywhere, like any platform means operating systems like Windows, Unix, Linux. Okay, fine. Is Java case sensitive language? Yes, ma'am. Why? Uh, because uppercase letters and lowercase letters are different in Java. Okay, fine. What is an identifier? Names used for classes, variables, and methods. Good. Okay. How many conditional statements are there? Uh, four. Uh, there are four conditional statements. If, uh, if else, else if, switch. Okay. Explain those conditions with the syntaxes. Uh, first, uh, if uh, 
if condition is used to specify a block of code to be ex executed if the condition is true. Uh, shall I write this? Yes, yes, you can. For if this is the syntax. Okay. For if this is the syntax of uh, if condition. Okay. What about you uh, uh, need to write uh, else if condition? Else if. Yes. Else if. Okay, good. What about a switch? Okay, fine. Tell me in switch, uh, what is the keyword we are using in switch? Default. Okay, default keyword. Okay, great. Fine. Okay, how many looping statements are there? Four. What are those? While, do while, for, for which. Good. Okay. Difference between while and do while? Um, in while loop, first condition checking taking place. Thereafter, the uh, code inside while loop will be executed. Whereas in do while loop, uh, code inside uh, do while loop, do, do, do while loop will be executed once. And then after condition checking will take place. If the condition is true, the code will be executed second time. Okay, good. Yes. How to know the size of an array? By using the length keyword. By using length keyword. Okay. What is the return keyword? Uh, if a method which will write return a value, uh, we we have to use the keyword written inside the method. What about wide? If a method which will not return any value, we have to use the keyword void in front of the method. Okay, fine. What is call by value? If we invoke any method by passing the values, then it is call by value. Okay, good. What is call by reference? If we invoke any method, by passing the reference, then it is call by reference. Okay, difference between call by value and call by reference? Uh, in call by value, original object uh, value will not be changed. In call by reference, original object value will be changed. Okay, good. Now I will give you one program. You need to write the program. Okay? Yes. Uh, write the program for explicit typecast. Explicit typecasting. First, we have to take the class. I will take the class name as hello. And we have to write the main method. Explicit, uh, we have to convert the uh, big data type to small data type. Uh, for that, I take the data type as double. Uh, the variable name is dv. And I have the given value some 50.0. And another data type is int. 
double has eight bytes and in has four bytes. So we can convert the double data type into integer data type. Um, then only we have to write the variable. The conversion from double to int. So we have to write the int from int here int before dd. Then only. Then we get the output as uh, 50 because the conversion from double to int, so we get the integer type 50. Okay, Pujita, your communication is good, but uh, you missed some body language means uh, eye contact is missing. You need to improve. After that, your technical knowledge is good. Yes. Next time you will be better. Yeah. Thank you.